I can't call it, I might spoil it. I said I was gonna come back and do a video yesterday about this experience I had with goats. This, if, if anybody come in the comment wanna say what experience they had, please be my guest. But, all right, it started. No, I ain't. Shit started when I started saying I want to see ghosts. I don't believe in them. Everybody talking about they see ghosts in this year. So I claim I want to see one. That's what I'm asking God. Let me see one one time. You know, blah, blah, blah. All right. Um, went to Houston for Hurricane Katrina. You know, it took about a month or so before couple of months before these people gave us some free apartments and shit and got the apartment I'm staying in the apartment I moved in that apartment in September like in October around October I'm living in the apartment and you know, I'm hearing little slick shit in the apartment. I'm in there by myself, so I'm hearing shit. I'm like, what the hell that is? You know, go look up in there, nothing in there. Now I hear silverware. I go in there. Nobody in there. So, man, this shit here crazy. I see somebody must have died in this apartment. I'm going to the front office in the morning and ask them to move me. Go to the front office. The lady working up front name was Ingrid. Never forget. I said, listen, somebody ever died in that apartment I live in? She said, man, you just tripping. She said, ain't nobody never died in there. Um, how you know? You from New Orleans. So she said, so she said, ain't nobody died in there. She said, just go say your prayers and everything will be all right. I said, yeah, I believe that. So I go, say my prayers, and everything stopped. I don't hear nothing. That was in October, November, December, January, February, like the end of February. Because every day I used to go to my auntie house. Every day. It's February. No, this was in March. This was in March. But from October, from my first move, I used to go to my auntie house every day because she cooked breakfast, she cooked lunch, she cooked dinner. I used to hang over there, take her to do her little chores and her little runs where she had to go. So, um, I guess back one night, about 8.40, 8.50, I pushed the movie Blade on. I put Blade on. I'm looking at Blade, so I fall asleep. I fall asleep on Blade. So I'm like, damn. About 2, 7, 3 o'clock in the morning, um, my lights came on. My lights came on in the house. I'm like, and I had white lights up in there, so they were bright. And I'm like, I opened my eyes. My whole wall, like, you see that wall behind me? Imagine you can't see the color because there's pictures all on the wall. Pictures everywhere. Pictures, pictures of a little baby. So I'm like, what the hell is she there, man? I'm tripping like, man, who in, who in my shit? Man, who did this? I grab my keys. I'm in my boxes with some socks on. I leave out my room. I go to the living room. I get to the living room. To my right was my slide door. To the left, I go to the kitchen. Straight ahead is the door. So the slide door is in the middle of the wall. So in the corner to the right, it was a reap. It said R.I.P. Solo. So I'm like, who the hell is Solo? 
lo and behold, this boy just pops up walking right in front of the in front of the reef. I'm like, I'm thinking, I'm tripping because I just woke up. I'm like, man, how you get in my house, man? What, what's up, man? What you want? He just mean mugging me. Walking back and forth. Just walking back and forth, mean mugging me. I'm like, bro, who you is, man? What you want? And I'm steady easing close to him. What you want? Who you is, man? How you getting my praise, man? And by the time I got in reaching distance. Hold up, y'all. Yeah, I'm back. So, what was I? All right, I'm asking the guy how you get in my apartment. So, I didn't ease up close to him. So, by this time, I swung at him. When I swung... God is my witness, man. My hand went clean through him. My hand went through the little dude. So I'm like, I'm like, man. Uh, uh, uh. But when I swung at him, promise you, he swung back at me. So his hand went through me. My hand went through him. So I say, I don't know what made me say this. to <laughs> tripping. I'm like, boy, you can't go where I could go. When I said that, I went out my front door. I turned to the right, go to the end of the hall, and as soon as you make a left at the end of the hall, my truck was parked right there. So, all right, when I leaves out my door, I take about five or 10 steps. I look back, they got a girl, she to the left of my door. She, she like 19, she holding a little baby hand, a little three-year-old hand. And I'm telling her, come here. I said, look, something in that apartment, come here. Come here, something in that apartment. And she smiled at me. And she said, I'm waiting on her. When she said, I'm waiting on her, this woman stepped to the front of my door. Oh, y'all can call it what you want. That woman, an uh, older lady, she had to be 50, 51. She steps to the front of my door and looked at me. Man, them thrusters kicked in. Straight thrusters. Took out. I took out so fast, my feet was pulling so hard, one of my socks came off. Nope, now, I'm in my boxes and some socks. No shirt, no nothing. I'm pressing that alarm on my truck, bum, 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 unlocking my door, making sure it's unlocked. I jumps in my truck, shoots to my, when I get to the front gate, the security man said, man, look like you saw a ghost. I don't know how that looked, but that's what he said. So, I'm like, man, just open this gate, man. So he opened the gate. I took out, I went to my auntie house. So she she asked me, did I get robbed? Beating on the door, she come to the door. She asked me, did I get robbed or something where you clothes? I said, you ain't gonna believe this. She said, what? I said, a ghost is in my house. She said, what? I said, they got ghosts in my house. I seen the little guy, a girl, 19 with a three-year-old, and plus a 50-something-year-old woman. She said, in your house, I see the girl and the three-year-old, they was coming from, I don't know, but before she, be, when I came out the door, she was standing to the left. I went to the right to go to my truck, and I was telling her to come in so I could tell her what's in that apartment. She smiled at me and told me she was waiting on this other lady. Well, she just said, I'm waiting on her. Just like that, you know, I see her, but she said her. She said, I'm waiting on her. And that woman stepped to my door and looked at me. I don't know if she looked it happy or not, but I kicked them thrusters in on the ass. I went jumping my damn truck and I took out, went to my auntie house. So my cousin, he won't go back and shoot the place up. I said, bro, that's ghost, bro. I'm not going back in there. So by that next morning, I had then, you know, shook it off a little bit. I said, I'm going to get my shit. 
a lot of stuff I left. I'm going to tell you what I left. I left a couple of polo jackets, a few rockerwood jeans. And I'll tell you why I left it. Because it came to my head. <clears throat> Before that, that was in March, so like in January, I was on the southwest side by my partner because I lived on the northwest side. I go with by my partner when I pull up, him and another dude standing in a walkway talking. I don't know the other dude, but I'm going to holler at my partner. I spoke to him, he spoke, dabbed him off, and uh, we talking, jibbing, and you know, 50 y'all, 50 feet down, 50 to 100 feet down, here come a little guy, he got some headsets on, some headphones, he jamming. So, the dude who my partner talking to, I don't know him, but he took and tell us, man, that's the, that's the ninja who tried to set my cousin up. So, I'm like, did he get your cousin, you know, deleted? But you know the word. He said, nah, nah. He tried to, though. I said, oh, all right. He said, so I got his ass. So the little dude spoke to us and walked right through us. And that dude, I don't know his name, bro. But he up the thing, man. And he touched him right in the back of the head. The little dude grabbed his head and said, ah. He must have thought something hit him or something. But then he fell, and the old boy just, I said, it's time for me to go. I took out. Um, <clears throat> man, I, I'm trying to think of this dude's name, man, who did this shit. But he deleted now, so he gone, he out of here. And my partner who I was talking to, I think he gone too, but I didn't, uh, I don't think he was deleted. I think he just expired. But anyway, I takes out. I go by another one of my partners in the McPaul Highland at him. Then the one who I was talking, he called me back. I said, a little dude, uh, I said, a little guy, he deleted, man, he gone? He said, man, he out of here. Well, I said, where your boy at? He said, oh, he left. So I'm like, oh, all right. He said, man, come back over here, man. It's all good people out here. Woo -do, woo -woo -do. I said, all right, I'm on my way. Go back out there. So I'm asking him. I'm asking my partner, where you, oh, uh, you know that little dude? He said, I seen him around. So I'm like, where's people at? You know, he said, all of them went back to the city. I'm like, damn. So he was like, man, let me see your truck for a second, man. I'm going to get something. I said, all right. Gave me his keys. He said, man, just wait in the house. I'll be right back. Give me about 20 minutes. He come back. He come back in 20 minutes. He got a whole bunch of clothes and jackets and polo shirts and jeans. So he was like, man, let's see what you could fit. So I tried a couple of the jackets on because I told you it was like January. And uh, what what happened with the apartment with the with the ghost, that was in March. So I'm just I'm putting some 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 stuff together. So January when he gave me all the stuff and you know I brings it to my house. You know, now this happens in March. I put two and two together. Cause he ain't never tell me where you get that stuff from. But I put two and two together. I asked where the little guy family was. He said it was gone. He said it was gone. He uses my truck. He come back with all his stuff. You know what I'm saying? He got all his stuff. He went, took that boy's stuff, because nobody was at that boy's house, man. He went, took that boy's stuff. 
You know what I'm saying? Bro, gave me some of it. That shit was attached to that boy. It was attached to him. I don't know the little boy. I don't know his name, but they had a reap in the corner of my house, right next to my slide door. And it said R.I.P. Solo. S-O-L-O. I seen it big as cuff. I don't know no solo, so I don't know the boy who walking back and forth in my room. In my living room. But when I put two and two together, I remember the boy had the headsets on. Had a little fro about that high. The little guy who walking back and forth in my thing. That's who that was. That boy wanted his clothes. He was attached to that shit. And he definitely came to get it. And I let him have the whole apartment. You got a whole place, bro. I'm out of here, man. But that's some real, real, real shit. You know, I ask you, be careful what you wish for, man. Be careful what you ask for. You know, because I was asking God, man, let me see a ghost. Man. I won't see a ghost. I ain't never saw no ghost. People talking about ghosts real and this year and that day. Let me tell you something. They real. If you haven't seen one, trust me. You don't want to see him. Not close up in person. Not close up in person. Maybe, you know, walking up the street or something. But a close up and in person in your face and you in the same room with him, you don't want to see it. I'm telling you. Man, you don't want to see that. That shit was real, man. It was real. It was real. I'm not lying. That was some real, 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 real shit. Yeah, man, but, um, you know, rest in peace to the little guy. I don't know if that was his name in that reek that was in my house. I don't know if that was his name, but I'm saying rest in peace to him, you know, because the dude did him wrong, man. He did him wrong. Then he could have had me and my partner caught up up in that crap, man. You know, I don't know what my partner told them people, you know, the uh, uh, detectives and the law and all. I don't know what he told them because he was still out there. But me, I had to bounce. I'm not hanging around that day because you, that shit, that shit, man, look, y'all the only ones out here? That's y'all. Y'all did that. I'm not finna be fighting no other dude charge like that, man. But like I say, he was wrong. He did the little cat wrong, and he deleted him. And the boy seemed like a happy go little youngster, man. He had him some headphones on. He jamming and walking. What's up, fellas? What's up? As soon as he walked past us, because me and my partner were standing next to each other, and the other guy, he was standing across from us, so we not blocking the sidewalk so people could walk by. And that's what it was. The little guy spoke, and he walked right through us. And a dude over there, across from us on the other side of the sidewalk, he he did that, man. He did he he did it. He unalived that boy, man. That was some cold blooded ish right there, man. I seen it. I'm you know I asked him, man, did your cousin, you know, did your cousin expire? Did he delete your cousin? You know, nah, nah. But he set him up, man. What? Punch him in his face then, man. Beat him up. Unless you ain't got no scrap, but you beat him up. You wrong, man. He was wrong for that one, man. I ain't lying. I ain't respect that. Because he stole off on him. And, I mean, me and my, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. It might have been a wrong dude he did it to. He just figured it's, I don't know, man. So, yeah, it's all good. But like I say, man, that's my encounter with the ghost, man. And, um, man, 
You don't want to experience it. Don't ask for it, please. Don't ask for it, man. Don't ask for it, because, boy, you you will get it. You don't want to get that one, man. Let me go off in his AC. I'm in his garage watching my two dogs. You know, a little hot. The air conditioning on right there. I got an air conditioning in here. It's on. But I got the door open. So, you know, I got the, the garage door wide open. But anyway, man, like I say, man, I can't call it. I might spoil it. Stay ready. And you don't have to get ready. And stay paranoid, man. Dogs barking got me paranoid right now. So salute, peace, subscribe to the channel, and uh, hit the like button. And leave a comment if you ever experience any kind of, uh, I'm going to do my next video inside. I got another story about some ghosts that I'm going to tell. Y'all gonna trip off this one, yeah. But uh, if you if you have anything that you experienced that was paranormal or, or not normal or not uh, uh, living wise, you know what I'm saying? Just just uh, leave a comment, and I'm definitely gonna read it, and I'm gonna hit you back. I'm gonna interact with you. I want to know some of y'all thoughts and some of your comments. So, um, like I say, stay ready and you ain't got to get ready. And stay paranoid. Peace. Yep.